Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. This week I am doing a bullet journal plan with me mixed with a kind of weekly work vlog. Um, I have a mixture of things to do with my internship. I'm also painting my office, um, packing some orders, just a concoction of random stuff which is pretty representative of my life when I am on summer break and I don't have school. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So I got my paint and the color that I decided to go for is called Pale Corn Flower. I'm going to put a swatch on the screen so you can get a better idea. It's just a really pretty, really pale bluish gray. We're just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Hi everyone, I'm very sweaty and my hands are completely caked with paint. Um, let me show you how much I have done. So this is wall number three, so I basically have about two and a half done. It is pitch black out and I just finished. I was doing this really annoying corner, which took forever. I'm going to do the most satisfying part, which is removing the tape. This morning, I have a lot of emails to reply to, and then I want to actually, actually, actually finalize my washi and stamp pre-order list. I have been going back and forth for the past like month, maybe more than a month. I want to make the announcement this week, so I need to finalize it and submit all of my artwork and stuff. So yeah, should be a fun day. My hands are extremely sore, so I'm not sure how much I can get done, but we will try our best. 
So this is the current lineup of washi tapes that I want to do for the pre-order, but I am not 100% satisfied with this selection. I still have to make some changes. I think by the time this video goes out, the announcement would have been already up, so I would definitely be on the lookout for that. So I have two pretty big P.O. box packages to open up. Um, I have been so terrible with my P.O. box. In my defense, it was largely outside of my control because my P.O. box is in British Columbia, whereas I live in Ontario most of the year, so I still have cards from Christmas of 2020 to respond to. I feel so terrible about, but I am going to get around to them this summer. Okay, so this first package is from Chloe from the UK, and I have talked with Chloe on Facebook and Instagram many times, so I am... Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. It says, made with love, hope, and a dash of anxiety which um, if you watch my videos or if you know me personally, you know that I am riddled with anxiety. So we have some stickers. This is from Sugar and Sloth. They are amazing. They're like little vinyl stickers. Oh, this is going to be perfect for my office. Just like these purplish. Oh, this is amazing. I love it. Okay, and then we have this dairy milk and I don't understand this reference. Uh, so if you know it, please explain it to me, but this is awesome. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I did to deserve such kind people in my life. He also got me a bunch of sweets. These are gold bears, um, star mix. I don't think I've had any of these. Swizzles drumstick. I should not be eating this much candy, but thank you so much Chloe for this wonderful package And I will send you back Canadian sweets and stuff very soon I also have this package from Clara or is it Clara? I'm very sorry if I um, Mispronounced your name. Please do let me know. Okay, so she sent me a bunch of her favorite teas which Again, I don't know what I did to deserve all of this Thoughtfulness, oh my gosh. Twinnings English breakfast, Twinnings Earl Grey, um, Fordham and Mason. I haven't heard of this brand before, but this package smells amazing. We have flavored green tea with ginger, and then we have black tea with fruit, and it's apple flavored. So, I love tea. Thank you so much. I still have a bunch of packages and cards to go through in my P.O. box. Um, again, I'm very sorry for being so slow with responding, but I'm going to be trying really hard this summer.
Okay, there are a million and 20 things I want to fix about this, but I need to stop before I get too invested. I have a lot of other work to do. Um, it's very different from my usual style, but I think it's very interesting, which is what I want for my own walls. Hi everyone, so it is the morning of the day that I want to, well I promised that I would announce the pre-order and I am still adjusting the lineup and I have been agonizing over this for so long um, and I still don't have it ready. Like I have the designs ready but I just don't know what to cut and what to include. Like from a business financial standpoint it would make a lot of sense to include all of the designs that I think would be popular but the issue is I don't want to include too many designs in the pre-orders because I know a lot of you like to collect like every design um, and I don't want to make it so that because there are so many designs and perhaps you're not financially able to purchase every single one then you have to like miss out on a single design if that makes any sense I'm probably overthinking it but I don't know I think I have um, a good idea of what I want to do now and I'm just looking at the mock-ups and I think we're all good so I'm gonna show you so a few days ago I showed you guys a slightly different um, mock-up it was this one we had princess party 2.0 and also potato doodles um, but I decided to cut those and instead replace it with Winnie and Friends 2.0 and then I just completely got rid of the thinner 10 millimeter washi just because again i think it's a little too much for this pre-order especially given that where is it ah uh, no i'm so confused i have so many files okay especially given that there's going to be two pencil pouches that are um pricier than my usual items and also a bunch of stamps as well um, so yeah, I think even th this is a little too much, but um, I don't think I can cut anything further. So I'm just going to add the watermark, put in the date, and we should be ready to go for this afternoon. And I'm very sorry about my gross fingers. Just kidding. It is literally like two hours before I am supposed to post the announcement and i am thinking of adding a brand new washi design because i am crazy all right i added floral forest i am not going to make any more changes i have like 20 variations of this graphic I'm getting kind of tired of looking at these washi designs, so I'm just going to stop and I will post this in like an hour-ish. I posted all of the pre-order information in the Facebook group and also on Instagram uh, and I'm very happy about that. But it is now time to do all of the boring stuff, which is the listings. Um, I already have the listing photos ready, but I just need to come up with like descriptions for each one. I'm going to be in a silly pajama shirt all day because I'm, I can't be bothered to change. So yeah, just a little warning. 